the third story in the Little Brown Bear book, and it's called Little Brown Bear's April Fool's Day. Today is the first day of April, said Little Brown Bear, jumping out of bed. I must think of some joke to play on Father Bear. He put on his new play suit and ran downstairs to the kitchen, where Father Bear and Mother Bear were eating breakfast. Good morning, said Father Bear. Good morning, said Mother Bear. Good morning, said Little Brown Bear. Then Little Brown Bear started dancing around the table, singing, Watch out, Father Bear, be careful what you do, for someone might play an April joke on you. Ha ha ha, laughed Father Bear. It will have to be a very big joke, for I am pretty smart. After breakfast, Little Brown Bear dried the dishes for Mother Bear and swept the back porch. Then he sat down on the doorstep to think. He thought and thought and thought. What could he do to play an April Fool joke on Father Bear? He jumped up and ran into the house. I will need a big empty box, he said to Mother Bear a sheet of brown paper, a piece of string, and a big black crayon. There is a box on the shelf in the hall closet, said Mother Bear, smiling, and there is paper and string and a crayon in the table drawer. Thank you, Mother Bear, said Brown Bear politely. He found the paper and a ball of bright string and the crayon in the drawer. A very big joke I'm going to play on Father Bear this April day. He sang and he climbed up on a chair to reach the box on the closet shelf. Plop, plop. Something rolled off the shelf and hit Little Brown Bear right on the nose. He took the box and carried it to the sofa. Then he went back to find out what had fallen onto the floor. There was his little new red umbrella hanging on a hook and his little black train and his shiny new rubbers and his little duck that said quack, quack. But his little red ball that he always kept on the shelf was nowhere in sight. Little Brown Bear looked and looked, but he could not find it. I'll fix the joke and then I'll see, wherever that little red ball can be, he said to himself. All the rest of the morning, Mother Bear heard him working in the living room, humming to himself. Smile and sing, smile and sing, wrap the box and snip the string. When the clock struck twelve, Father Bear came in to lunch. He sat down at the table just as Little Brown Bear came in with a big package. Here's a big package for you, Father Bear, he called in a very excited voice. It must be the seeds I sent for, said Father Bear, untying the red string. He took off the cover of the box and looked inside, Little Brown Bear danced around the table shouting, April Fool, there's nothing there. I said I'd fool you, Father Bear. Then Mother Bear laughed, and Father Bear laughed, and Little Brown Bear laughed, and laughed and laughed. After they had eaten their lunch and Father Bear had gone back to work, it began to rain, so Little Brown Bear could not go out to play. He started to look for his little red ball. At last, he called. My little red ball is just nowhere. Please help me find it, Mother Bear. So Mother Bear looked, but she could not find the little red ball. She even looked on the closet shelf, while Little Brown Bear said sadly, I've searched and searched just everywhere. I guess it's lost if it isn't there. try to find it while you run to the store for some sugar, said Mother Bear. Put on your rubbers and your raincoat and take your little um, red umbrella. So Little Brown Bear put on his new rubbers and his raincoat, and he took his little red umbrella off the hook. He was very sad, for much as he loved his red umbrella, he loved his little red ball more. Then he went outdoors. He raised his red umbrella. Plop, plop. Something hit him right on the nose. Then something rolled down the walk and stopped in a pool of water. 
It was Brown Bear's little red ball. Mother Bear was standing in the door. She started to laugh. Then little Brown Bear started to laugh. He laughed and laughed and laughed. I guess the joke I tried to play was all on me this April day, he said as he picked up his little red ball and ran down the walk toward the store.